Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, I wanted to take a look at these two respawn ships, as well as give a little bit of discussion, a little bit of talk, as well as trying to feel your opinions of small ships that have grown into large ships of proportions, as well as get your opinions and your support to possibly push it forward to get these ships a little bit better supported in Space Engineers as well. So first off, I want to show you this ship here. We've just got the standard respawn, and on the left we have Peter Hammermans, one of his beautiful recreations of that stock respawn ship. And as you know, I'm quite a fan of small ships gone wild, and it's, it's quite clear why. You can just see how much detail can be added over the actual stock larger ships and even if you build them to this same similar size I mean they go through a few of the subjects that are quite touchy on the whole small ships gone large sort of scale such as pressurization of interior cabins of smaller ships and so on and allowing us to use all the blocks that you have on the larger ship on the smaller ship as well and probably trying to do it in such a way where it doesn't require so much modification like they do at the current moment in time so going in the smaller primary sort of research or repair and respawn ship that has all the necessities that you may need and some of you may argue that it's very limited on detail but it just works it's got all the things you need it's got gravity and med bay cargo and the ability to produce sort of resources and you're right it does have all that factors but wouldn't you like to see that with a little bit more detail and that's why peter hammerman's over here has done all of that and added that extra level of detail as well so you can just see the pipes the clamps the air vents that have been added onto this side and you can see there's a lot of mods in here as well but i really want to know your feelings of these smaller ships gone large and if you'd like to see them become a more permanent part of the game i mean even if it's just such a factor where everything you can do in the larger ships such as thrusters and the other things are just available to the smaller ships in like a primary sort of part of the game as it is so if we come around the back here you can see a little bit more of the detail on this side some of the piping you see some of the thrusters you've got this little bit of a nodger that's been added onto the side there and i guess this is the main core area for the production and storage of this actual ship itself that little extra level of detail over the primary ship so if we have a look at the rear of this one you can see there's a gyroscope some bits just been slapped on the side there and it just looks really simple not too complicated but there's even been room for a little bit of lettering as well so it's really cool let's head in inside and actually have a look at some of the main differences and the interior of that now one of the core elements that you guys have been discussing for small ships gone wild is pressurization of the smaller ships and being able to pressurize them in within cabins and it's not something that's available in the core game at the moment but it has been done in a number of different mods and I really strongly support that it would be really cool to pressurize these interior cabins you can just see the level of detail that is put into this ship itself just little ridges like this standing out from the call part of the wall really add a lot of detail to the ship itself and just a really cool little additions you can see we've got a ramp up we're using the use of them smaller air vents to actually use as that staircase so I can walk up here I've got a little bit of a balcony modded block there and we've got the production and assembly there that I can access through the connector. We've also got a really cool little cockpit area here that I guess is some sort of control panel for the actual production of raw materials from this refinery sort of respawn ship. It's just really cool. And we've got a few more modded blocks here as well as the stock sort of med room in that location. But the ability of these smaller blocks have added for that extra level of detail. And you can just see it's flowing throughout the whole design. We've got an air vent there, not currently working, but it would be really cool if we get them working in the future for smaller ship designs. And as we come to the front, we've got this rounded sort of glass cockpit that you can look out of. We'll sit in there and have a lateral view of the ship. You see, we've got all the controls and necessities around us. And I believe in these left control panels, we have sort of statistics on our battery power status. We have some R summaries as well as what sort of items we've actually put in progressing, as well as an animated screen down here. I'd really like to see some more animated screens added to the core game as well, even if they're just like statistic bars and so on. Just a really cool function. I know with planets coming soon, maybe this is a little bit more, or a little bit too much to ask for them to implement small sort of large ships as a total thing, but it would be really cool. And they've added this little block here as um, a sort of power generator and gravity drive he's got a little timer block flashing away and the laptop screen placed there it's really cool really well thought out ship once again by peter ammerman as well just really cool but let's head out back outside and we'll discuss some more of the points of a small ship gone large 
So now we're outside the ship, I really want to hear your sort of opinions. I want to know if you think these smaller ships gone large are a little bit of an overcomplicated thing that the large ship blocks do with very functional sort of purpose and there's no need to go into this much detail with a ship or are you one of them sort of guys who loves the little bit of extra detail that you can put into the ship and would fully support this if it became a full part of this game. Now I'd really love to be able to create these smaller large ships without as much mod sort of support being required and seeing these smaller more detailed ships as a permanent sort of part of the game as stock just to the ability that you can actually build them much larger and with a lot more detail even though preserving the larger ships for much larger sort of carriers and crafts would be still cool but at the same point it may cause a problem where the larger ships are a little bit redundant because you can have so much more detail with the smaller ship but they're just a few different things for you guys to think about and I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to hear what you thought.